dynamic routing protocols are used for creating logical routes. These protocols fall within one of two categories, distant vector and link state. Both categories require routers to transmit periodical updates, but how these updates are handled is one way to differentiate distant vector routing from link state routing. Distant vector routing protocols like RIP requires routers to transmit their entire routing tables for each update. This reduces the overall complexity of the protocol but at the same time places the burden on the network infrastructure by consuming bandwidth, which in turn can congest the network. It is also to be noted that protocols like RIP can only communicate with routers within a distance of 15 hops. Any routers beyond 15 hops are unknown to RIP. With their limited range and their high dependency on bandwidth, distance vector routing protocols are more suitable for small to mid-sized networks. For networks that are more concerned about their bandwidth consumption and span distances over 15 hops, will have to rely on a different type of dynamic routing protocol. Link state routing protocols like OSPF try to address many of the shortcomings of distant vector routing. One important area that is improved upon is in reducing network congestion. Routers using OSPF transmit link state advertisement packets when reaching convergence. After convergence is reached, only the changes that had occurred within the network will be transmitted. This reduces the load on the network. OSPF also divides a network into areas, with area 0 being referred to as the backbone area. There is also a designated router that is assigned to each area and is responsible for relaying changes within its area to the rest of the network. Link state routing protocols are complex and require oversight when being implemented on a network. This is another reason why it is more likely to find protocols like OSPF on enterprise networks. So in conclusion, dynamic routing protocols fall within one of two categories, distant vector and link state. Distant vector routing protocols are limited and are mainly implemented on small to mid-sized networks. On the other hand, link state routing protocols are more robust and are found mainly on large networks. This is all for now on dynamic routing protocols. Head over to HeyMIT for more information. <laughs>